<clears throat> sat on the floor one day when we were kind of brainstorming about creating something like passages and put post-it notes all over the floor, all our different ideas, all the things we could imagine. And then we realized how similar our thoughts were. And I think it just encouraged both of us that we were on the right track. Right. That was the summer of 96. Um, and then over weeks and months, in my basement, different, different pieces <laughs> came together. And, yeah, the name we went through and how important passages were, that rite of passage, a passage through the woods, passage through the water, a passage of music. Passage of, of literature sure. or drama. Yeah. And a passage for a girl or a woman of going from a transition of one part of your life to another important critical time of your life. One of our, I think our greatest achievements is um, there are a number of girls who have gone on our programs and just blossomed and found that courage in their lives and it's changed their lives. And to me, those stories, um, those really personal stories are really what we're all about. We um, first became involved in Passages in the summer of 2002, this great rock climbing course. I looked at the brochure and thought it seemed terrific. It was, though, um, a, going to be a challenge for Rachel to go, I knew, because the year before she had developed um, truly severe anorexia nervosa. Rachel was certainly stable health-wise, but was still underweight, hard to keep any calories on her. I then, however, needed to approach passages, um, and I actually thought they probably would not agree to take her um, because of the risks involved, but the reaction immediately was, you know, we think we can handle this. For me, because I didn't have a program like Passages when I was you know, 10, 11, 12, when I was going through these difficult times, I felt like that lack of courage, that fear existed in me until I began Passages and took the risk and the courage to start Passages. Courage with Passages is like courage on a different level. Seventh grade was one of the hardest years in my whole entire life, and that was the year that I got involved with passages. And ever since then, I've been like a whole different person. This one girl, she was having a hard time believing in herself. So I was talking to her about how I've been through a few things that she's been through, and that I turned out fine because I believed in myself, and you know, I'm. I worked hard to be who I am, and here I am, you know? And she was like, oh, that's so cool. I'll be just like you, Naomi. I'm like, I'd rather you be just like yourself. I, like, specifically remember we did this. There's one challenge where they had logs set up like a ladder, and you had to kind of climb to the top, and, like, there was more space in between each log as you went. And, um... I just got really excited because by the end I was like the only one who could make it to the top and like, I don't know, I just felt really good, so. With Passages, um, we are working with girls, but we're also working with uh, women, um, especially in our Women in Nature program, of women who are going through a transition. I have heard many times a woman say, wow, I never thought I could do that at the end of a hike. And you can tell just by her enthusiasm that she really feels um, encouraged and energized by the whole experience. Uh, my uh, daughter and I have been involved with passages for about six years on and off. And the bonding is incredible because we can talk about places that we visited and meeting people and just finding our own strength. Again, passages. We're all doing things singly, but you know, coming together and enjoying this, this beautiful area is, is such a joy. So Rachel spent the whole week, and she came back, um, and not only had she had a really wonderful time, but she had not lost one ounce of weight. This always oh, really 
affects me. I just, I can't emphasize enough what a dramatic experience it was for her, given where she was coming from. I was just so proud that she'd been able to get through it and do so well, you know. And have fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Well, I think what's great about this is it gives everybody an opportunity. You know, some of those prices are pretty steep, but they really make it affordable if you ask for a scholarship. It's just like really big because those girls that really, really need it can get it because of those scholarships. a check from a funder, which was a huge deal, you know, because money makes program run. We can't yep. do it without the money. We do a little sort of funding money dance. <laughs> it's sort of like... <laughs> 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 <laughs>